Hey Insiders, uh, this week I wanted to give a little more information about the recent updates to Creator Studio where you can see a little bit more information about um, the status of your videos from an ads perspective. As a reminder, the official blog post uh, announcing this change is linked below. That is the authoritative source. Uh, I just kind of asked around and read, read the blog post and kind of uh, uh, wanted to share some of my takeaways. So just for background, uh, with a lot of the investments we've made to improving our ad system, uh, there was this state where a video could be eligible for some ads, so it was not fully demonetized, but it wasn't eligible for all ads. And so what we wanted to really try and do is give more clarity around that state in Creator Studio. Um, so now when you go to Video Manager in Creator Studio, you're going to see these icons and there's going to be one of three which will represent its uh, monetization status. So if it's green, it means it's eligible for ads, it's eligible for YouTube red revenue sharing. Um, if it's yellow, that means it has limited or no eligibility for ads, uh, but it still has YouTube red revenue sharing. So that means uh, it may not meet all of our ads guidelines, and that's where if you get the yellow icon and if you read the ads guidelines linked below and you're like, hey, I'm sure this meets all the guidelines, I want to appeal this decision, uh, now you can do that from within the product. So you'll be able to appeal from uh, Creator Studio Video Manager. Uh, the third state is the strike through and that means it's not eligible for any ad nor YouTube Red revenue sharing. Generally it's going to be because there's a, a copyright issue or a strike. Um, the other thing is on if you get the yellow, you read the ads guidelines, you want to appeal. Uh, after you commence the appealing process, you'll see the status in blue text so you'll know uh, where it is in the process and eventually you'll know what the outcome is. Um, so that's the summary of the three icons. Uh, we kind of noticed after the announcement there were a lot of questions that were bubbling up about this change and I tried to summarize the most common ones and let me just take a shot at giving you um, my informal take. Uh, so hey, why didn't, why didn't this happen earlier is a common question. Um, the way, the sequence of sort of events is we really focus initially on fine tuning the ad system. And then now that we're seeing many advertisers resuming their campaigns, we wanted to then introduce this uh, increased information about the different states uh, inside the product of Creator Studio. So that's, that's sort of why it's, it's, you know, didn't happen earlier, but um, hopefully this change is, is going to be helpful. So the next question, could, could you have seen this before? Well, you could always go into YouTube Analytics and look at your revenue reports and see the amount of revenue per video and conclude that, oh, you know, certain videos are making a lot less in revenue than others. But I think with this change, it's going to be a lot clearer. You're going to be in Video Manager, if you get the, the, the green icon, you're eligible for ads. If it's yellow, you're not eligible for all ads. And that's where uh, you have the option to appeal if you really are confident that, um, that it was misclassified. Um, you know, that appeals process is actually really helpful for us because it allows our system to kind of continuously improve. So if you appeal it and the appeal is granted, then we can um, uh, further fine tune uh, the ad system. Um, next question, uh, did the status of certain videos change at the same time as having these icons available? So uh, no, uh, this update is just increasing the amount of information and visibility into the status of, of your videos. It, it wasn't a major change to the actual classification. 
So the big change is you see the icons, if it's yellow and you really think it meets our ad guidelines, you can, you can appeal within the product. Next question, uh, all my traffic uh, happens in the first day or two. If I publish, I get a bunch of traffic, then I see the yellow icon, then I appeal, and then if I, my appeal is approved, by the time that happens, like a lot of my monetizable traffic is already consumed. So if that's a concern, you can always start by publishing a new video as unlisted. The classifiers will run and will, if there are any issues, will identify most of them in the first day. And then, assuming everything's fine, you can then flip it to public and then get all your traffic uh, and have it as eligible for ads as possible. You know, it doesn't guarantee that there won't be other issues that pop up in the future, but generally I think that's a, a good best practice uh, if you're concerned about this. Uh, next question, um, how many times can I appeal per video? Yeah, you can appeal once. So what I would recommend is um, if it has a yellow icon, really go through the ads guidelines and, and look closely at your thumbnail, your title, your description, the tags, the video content in itself, you know, what's being shown, what's being said, the whole nine yards, uh, and then appeal. Because uh, once that decision is made, you, you will not be able to appeal repeatedly uh, for, it, for any one video. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any other questions or feedback, please leave a comment below. And in the meantime, keep it real.